I was going to be on this side, then I said, oh, oh can I'm I be sorry. on this side? Oh, sorry, do you want to switch? No, I, oh, you're on the right I wanted side. to be on this side because I had everything here. Peter so Kilcullen. I was running, zoom, and I'm in here. <laughs> Good job you had shoes on. Yes. All right, we're going to talk about the Hera Flame Candle. These oh, are yeah. brand new today. Interestingly enough, I was watching Peter on air with Helen Keeney. Yes. Last season, last year, we had something similar to this, and it did not come with the gels. I exactly. had to purchase those on my own. Yep. Now this season, we and it only was one style. Now right. we've got three choices, plus exactly. it's coming with your gels. These are the coolest way to create magnificent ambiance, whether it is on your patio, whether you're dining al fresco. Peter, let's break these it, down, because exactly. these are awesome. They, they really are nice. And you're right, we haven't had anything like this since last year. These kind of, I mean, we're calling it a candle, but I think this really, really? takes the whole candle to a whole right. new level. Because here's what we're really getting, is that vortex flame that, that burns inside of this glass lamp or lantern or candle, how, however you want to describe that. And then we have three choices of the different bases. And as you mentioned, we are getting that gel fuel that comes with it, two cans of the gel, gel fuel. You are getting the little snuffer. snuffer right there, so you can put it out by just putting that on top like that. I mean, it is really amazing what this can do. Now, we just lit these before we came out, and they're just starting to get into their, their vortex style right there as that gel fuel starts to burn evenly across the top of that, that you know, what's in there is this small can of gel fuel. Where are we? are over there. There's that small <laughs> can of gel fuel, and that starts to burn, but you get that tall flame. You can see the glass is just over 12 inches high, and you see how the flame just really starts to spin and get to the top of that. So I think really a completely different look than your regular old candle with that, you know, with just a little bit of flame that's oh, on there. Oh, this is a conversation piece. Yeah. This is a focal point. This is, oh my gosh, where did you get it? When you're entertaining, dining al fresco, I have taken my two and I've placed them by the pool on the backside of the pool and then we light them when we're out there and everybody does ask, where did you get them? Because of that vortex, it's this spinning cool, yeah. it's almost magical. It is very cool. And now you see when it's, when oh, it's dark out and awesome. you are on that patio, now now it looks like that the flame is just coming from nowhere. It's like a the, little tornado. Exactly, that, that tornado, that, that hurricane or vortex of flame appears to be coming out of nowhere, but it's inside of that glass, the glass cylinder. You've got that small jar of the gel fuel that will really last for a very long time. You're getting two of those. And I'll show you what's happening. Um, we have the different choices right here, and I, I have the one that's not actually burning obviously right. but your gel fuel is going to go in the middle right there and then you can see on the outside what we have is this little air guide this little plastic air guide you can see those little channels that's what starts to take the cool air around the warm air and that's what starts to create that vortex as it rises up in that flame Peter, and so let's walk our customers through the choices oh yeah we got the choices because of the we colors. have the choices yes. and i want to make sure they know how to order so they can get theirs do you want to start down here is this the olympia red it's not. I believe that's this. Uh, uh, that's okay. this one. Okay. Yeah, that's this one. I know one. this one in the middle is going to be your sequoia stone. The sequoia stone, and sequoia this is the, the stone, honey. And this is the honey. So they're different shapes as well. So down here, you're saying this is the honey. Now you've got me thinking. I know. I thought this was the Olympic red. Maybe Doug will double check for us on HSN.com. Uh, right. Okay. So, so uh, Olympia was I wrong? red. Do you want me to say you were? You can. Okay, you were. Well, I was. <laughs> when I'm I wrong, I never I mean, want to call anyone out like that. Because I said the same thing. I'm like, oh, I know yeah. the stone one, but no, then but I was getting okay. those two this mixed up. No, that's okay. This is the Olympia, uh, the Olympia red, and this gotcha. is almost like a bowl shape. And then you've got this marbling texture on the top yeah, with your blues neat on top. and your yeah, it's really pretty in your tans and your taupes and caramel colors. It almost looks like molten glass. It's spectacular. Then we move to your middle, and this is the sequoia stone. So your sequoia stone looks just Love like. That stone one. work yeah, that and then you've got these neat. beautiful almost like wrought iron little tendrils that curl on all three choices and then your final choice is going to be the honey marble so the honey is like that honey color exactly. i wish i could the tilt marble. them up are we able yeah, to there get you can see that yeah perfect that's the top that right angle. there no from like the side so they can see the bottom perfect you've got it that's all the honey yeah, I mean, they're, they're all really nice. And you were, you were pointing out how it has that handle that holds the glass cylinder. So you're able to put mm -hmm. that, that on top. So what you do is you're just gonna put your fuel in there. So the fuel pops in, you light the fuel, and then you can put this over the top. What's really interesting is you can see right here, there's a label right there. 
And here you can see it's pretty dark. On all of the ones that are lit, that label turns red, so you know that it's hot, because that glass can get warm around the outside. Mine doesn't so, have that. Yeah, isn't that neat? I mean, that's new. We did not have that on so the, like a the little previous safety version. Feature yeah, it. just so, and you know, I'll spin this one around, and you can see there's the label right there, and it's a little bit red. So that means that the whole area is a little bit warm, like a candle would be, but you know, that flame's a well, little bit fire. taller. I mean, come yeah. on, we're, we're all adults. We know, oh, you know, don't touch the flame. <laughs> right, you, mean, so you don't want to touch the glass uh, even, because right. you might think that that glass will be cool. But that's no, it. But well, because that's that. that more silicate glass, right? Oh, yeah. So it can have those high temperatures, sure. but yet at the same time, it gives you the beauty and the luxury to be able to see this beautiful display of, of this flame, the way it creates this vortex or this centrifugal force from the air, the way that glass in the shape. I mean, it's really quite spectacular. It's very cool. I mean, you can see these, they have these in, in many different shapes and sizes and they can be extremely expensive mm -hmm. when they're very tall. I think we have really a perfect height here. It's just over 12 inches tall because you're getting, you're getting the fuel. So that's great because you know you bought the one last year and that one you it. had to go out and find it. But this one's going to fit perfectly in the, in the hole. So you, you're just putting your fuel in there, taking mm -hmm. that off and then you're adding the glass on top. And there you can see that air guide. That's what's, what's giving you just just slightly just bringing that air in in that circular pattern which gives that flame that vortex look that spinning look and it's a great way to i mean i think if you're able to have two of these and maybe they're on yeah, either I end of a table two last season you did i did do yeah, two. It's, i mean it's i splurged really nice. i know it's a little bit more than typically we would think for outdoor lawn and garden items but i felt like it was really it made a visual impact it was worth it and it certainly is when you get them at home and you light these whether it's on top of a tabletop maybe it's it's by you've got a little tiki hut and you want to put them out or maybe it's by your pool and it's your kind of dining al fresco and you just want that little bit of extra ambiance how about if you're having a birthday party an anniversary party any kind of party you're celebrating right and you want to put these by the entrance of your front door because you've got a cool little porch and you yeah, want to put them on the steps that would be great. So yeah wouldn't that be really cool i would like that do we do we have I mean, like any animation to show like different places for this doug no I, no oh, okay what, what i think would be neat is that when you do bring the lights down Put it somewhere where you're, you know, sitting close to it, even like where we are here, or maybe it's on that table between your lounge chairs outside, because you will just be staring at it mm -hmm. endlessly it's at night. It really is. When you see that vortex flame and you see it rotating, especially when the lights are down and, or the sun's down and you're out back and it's a nice warm evening. I mean, it is a great look. And when you see it with the lights down, it really just has that flame coming from nowhere in that glass cylinder. And you'll see it as our lights go you down. You know what I do. How neat it looks. When What's they're not that? by the pool, I take one and I put it on top of my um, table, my like table that's out by my chairs, and I have a glass of wine and I just light it. And you and just I, enjoy this. And I just, just look at the stars, have a glass of wine with my hubby, and we relax, we chill. You know, it's the way we unwind. When you have exactly. things like this, they're almost, you almost think of like a spa experience, or when you go into a really fancy five-star restaurant. Have you seen they have those big fire pits now? Sure. With those little, that are permanent? Yeah, yeah. exactly. Which it's it's the, the, the glass, that all the broken glass, yeah. and then it's, that's usually gas, you know, underneath. But one of the, one of the crew was commenting that this looks like a very miniature fire pit that you might have, especially the right, one with the stone. Like but that's saying. what it's like, exactly. Were you saying the same thing? Was I wrong again? <laughs> no, that's, that's okay. It's <laughs> all good. It looks like that, that fire pit, but it's, it definitely is like a miniature one. Robin, did you Peter, say that? Peter. I always listen to you. We have a lot more time on air, so this is oh just my gosh, the beginning. It's so funny. It is just the beginning. You'll have to stay tuned to see what happens next. Um, Peter is going to stick with us. We have all three. Here's how you snuff them That's out. It. You get the little snuffer coming included. So just choose Olympia Red, Honey Marble, it's or the Sequoia Stone. Snuffing this out. Snuff, you want to snuff me out? <laughs> no. <laughs> Probably you do. 081773 is.